Hello and thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time visiting, I certainly appreciate you giving me this opportunity and I hope that you will return. Please be sure to check out my other videos and see if any of them might be at least interesting or can possibly help you out with a future repair. And as always, those that are returning, thank you once again for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me. Today we're going to be doing a video, it's not going to be so much of an automotive repair as I'm going to be demonstrating a new tool that I have and uh, whether or not you think that uh, this will be something that would that you could add to your arsenal that could help you in the future for what I consider to be a budget price for what it is. Uh, this is an automotive smoke machine, it's designed to uh, put smoke into uh, you say your vacuum system under a little bit of pressure and it forces the smoke out where there might be a leak. It is also used to detect leaks in your EVAP system for your gas tank as well. Now you may remember if you watched a couple videos back there was a series where I was having an idle problem with the 2000 Accord and I tried some traditional methods. So I was using brake clean and carb cleaner spraying them around uh, possible areas that I could have a leak and I wasn't really successful. I did find one leak but uh, this, this tool right here is actually what ultimately found what the problem was. Uh, now what this is, is um, I bought this off of Amazon.com. It's AutoLine Pro is the brand name for this and it is actually made in the USA. So I'm going to get you off the stand and I'm going to show you the different components and I'm going to actually induce a, a vacuum leak on the 2000 Accord and demonstrate how it works and how well it works. All right, here we have the uh, contents of the kit. It does come with the actual canister that holds your smoke material. It has a air pressure regulator on the top where you have to connect your own air uh, supply to this and it drops it down probably to just one or two uh, uh, inches so it's not very much pressure that it uses. It also has here where the power supply plugs into it and it comes, it's designed to, to fit with your 12 volt battery so there's no need to plug this in. Of course it has your instruction manual and it does have, it does also come with a, a small amount of the smoke fluid. Uh, the, the, you kind of go through this pretty quick I found out but uh, it's my understanding this can be replaced with baby oil or mineral oil. It's not a huge deal. And then a pretty good long section of hose and uh, this fitting that I put on the end to do the vacuum test I'm going to do today. It comes with some other types of fittings as well and a extra fuse for the power supply. And then uh, this particular kit comes with the uh, tool necessary to hook this up to your EVAP system to give it a look. So we're going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to demonstrate uh, what goes into this. You just move that to the side and give it a little twist and the whole thing should uh, should pick up off of there. Now inside of this, uh, I've already used this a couple times so it's already been used, but there's basically it's a wick that has a heater coil wrapped around it and uh, in the bottom of this is a, uh, it comes with a marble that you actually drop in there and then you just fill it up with the with the fluid over the top of the marble and once that's all been accomplished, everything goes back together like that. Uh, this hanger is very convenient to hang it off of your hood and um, so that way you, it's out of the way and, but still where you need it to be to, to use it for the uh, test. So I'm going to get this uh, all hooked up and I'm going to get it on the uh, 2000 Accord and I'm going to show you how it, how it actually operates and how well it works. Okay, so I have the uh, machine here ready to go. Uh, when you first get this going, it takes it about three minutes before it heats up to the uh, temperature it needs to be at. And once it's there, do not grab it anywhere down here because this thing gets extremely hot. It can burn you. I have found if you hold it up here by the regulator, it's not going to be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and take the power supply. It's only one way it can go in. And then that part just screws in here. And with the power supply hooked to the uh, machine, I'm going to come in here and we're just going to connect it to your uh, 12 volts uh, battery. Uh, positive to positive, red to positive of course, and black to negative. And then the machine has actual switch on the side that illuminates and lets you know that it's going. So we're going to let this sit here for three minutes and uh, we're going to come back when we're ready to start uh, uh, demonstrating the test with it. Now while this is heating up I'm going to go ahead and connect my hose. This is going to be the outlet hose and your smoke is actually going to come out here. So all this does is slides over the, um, whoops here we go, this fitting here on the side, as you can see, there's already smoke starting to come out. And once that's in place, what you need to do is find a good spot to actually induce the smoke into the uh, vehicle. And I'm going to show you what I think is the best for this type and probably for most vehicles as well. Uh, for this car, the easiest spot I found is you're just going to be on the PCV valve. So you just pull that out of the intake manifold and pop that out. And we're going to smoke into here. Uh, if you smoke it back the other way, all you're going to do is fill the, the uh, valve cover and everything behind that. Uh, what we're after is the actual intake system itself. So when we're ready, we're going to insert this hose into the PCB hose here like that, and we'll be able to start the test. 
Okay, with everything ready to go, I'm ready to hook up my air supply to this now. Um, it, again, it doesn't take very much air pressure. So if you have a, one of those little portable ones that are just used for inflating your uh, car tires or whatnot, as long as you have the hose with the right fitting, which is just your basic uh, female shop tool fitting, then it's gonna fit on here. So we're just gonna put this on the side and it should start uh, blowing smoke out of the, the end with the red tip on it. We're ready to put that into the PCB valve tube. And you can see it's already smoking pretty good here. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in and just give it a little shove. It, it doesn't have to be too terribly hard. And then we're just gonna sit and wait. It might take two or three minutes for the intake system to fill up. And uh, once it does, if it has a leak, it's gonna be pretty obvious where it's at. Come back when that's ready. So as you can see here, all I did, this um, part here has a little cap that goes over the top. And I took that off just to demonstrate. You, like I said, you wanna come here with a flashlight and look really good. And it's painfully obvious where the smoke is coming out. So I'm gonna put this cap back on. And it, again, that's just a simulated, uh, a simulated vacuum leak. Uh, one thing I did find on this car that I was not aware of, if uh, you can see down here, I have a tear in my intake hose that I was not aware of. Uh, that is not a huge deal. That is, that is before the throttle body, so it's not something that's being measured, but I am gonna take care of that. I should not be doing that. So there you go. But if, if now if um, you're checking this and you start seeing smoke come up, say around your intake manifold or any of the seams or any of your vacuum lines, uh, what I suggest you do is you get under the car and you, you make sure you can see where it's originating because everything's going to be trying to come up instead of go down, of course. So you may think, oh, it's leaking right there. Well, it's actually it's leaking from somewhere underneath that. And you need to actually track down and actually watch it come out from where it's coming out. Just don't assume something if you can help it. So let's get you set back up on the bench and I'll finish up this uh, quick little video for you. So there you have it. This tool works really well for what it costs. This is $120 in my region on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link up in the description and here's the uh, Amazon page as well uh, uh, showing the uh, different features of the tool that I might not have covered here. Now uh, again, this is made in the United States. I feel like it's made of very high quality materials, the hose, everything. Nothing feels very cheap about it. Of course, this is not a top of the line. It does not have its built-in uh, air uh, source and things like that. But if you're a weekend warrior like I am and you're working on vintage cars, uh, vacuum leaks are going to come up all the time. And sometimes they can be very frustrating and difficult to find. Uh, I suggest that if, if that this exact model that you pick up something like this if you're going to be working on these things. At any rate, I certainly appreciate each and every one of you for joining me today, and I will catch you on the next video.